With September almost coming to an end, we've made the full transition to autumn. This also means lots of rainy weather where I live. Something about sitting inside while it's raining is so comforting to me. So to match this warm energy, today I will show you how you can install this cozy autumn theme. I will also show you how you can install animated GIFs as widgets onto your home screen. For those who are new here, my name is Kotona, I'm an artist and run my little shop called Studio Cherry. Here I mainly sell hand draw icon themes and templates. The images I'll be using for this tutorial are part of the icon theme I designed, but feel free to follow along using your own images. The apps I'll be using are displayed here. Let's first install the wallpapers. First, open GoodLock app from the Play Store and from here install Theme Park. You want to go to the Theme tab and create a new wallpaper set. Here you can set a lock screen and home screen wallpaper. Here I'm uploading the lock screen wallpaper. And then after that you can set up your home screen wallpaper. Save the wallpaper set by giving it a name. For the icons, go to the icons tab where you can select create new to design a new icon pack. Tap the three tabs on the upper right hand corner and select change icons. On this page, you can change the cover image of each app. Just select the icon and you'll get the option to select an image from your gallery. I organized all the images for this theme into an album for easy access. Once you've selected an image, it will be applied to the app icon. It's quite a tedious process, but I promise you it will be worth it in the end. So once you've applied an image to each icon, you can go back and adjust the icon shape to your liking. One thing I noticed if you do this um, is that some icons get either zoomed in or out. You can fix this by selecting the icon and tap edit icon. Here you will be able to fix the positioning of the image within the frame. Once you're happy with the setup, just select the install button and give the icon pack a name. Now let's apply the wallpapers first. Go to the theme tab and select the wallpaper set you want to install. Select apply. I've noticed sometimes that the lock screen wallpaper doesn't get applied immediately. So here I'm manually installing the lock screen wallpaper. Here you can customize your lock screen to your liking. I just changed around the font and font color. Select done once you're happy with the results. On the icons page, it works the same, so you can select the pack you just made and select apply to apply the customized icons to your home screen. 
Now I'll show you how I installed these animated GIF widgets onto my home screen. I'll be using these two apps called GIF widget and photo widget. The reason why I'm using two apps is because GIF widget only allows one free widget and photo widget can only install square widgets. So for my rectangular widget, I'll be using GIF widget. Just install the widget onto the home screen and you'll be prompted to choose a file from your device. Select the GIF image and set the resolution to high. Select create to add the widget to your home screen. You can resize the widget you just made on your home screen. Now let's install my other GIF widget. This app I believe allows unlimited widgets for free but only in square format. Tap the plus button to select a file from your gallery. And tap the check button to apply the widget onto your home screen. Rearrange it to your desired position and it's done. On my Galaxy Z Flip, I can also apply a custom cover screen. I'll show you how I installed my own GIF image. In your settings, go to the cover screen tab. Here, you will be able to add a new cover screen. Select gallery to pick your GIF from your own images and select done to apply. You'll be brought to a page where you can customize the cover screen. I rearranged the time block and changed the color to the same color as I'm using on the lock screen. After selecting done one more time, it's complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more content like this and I'll see you in the next one.